Hello, and thank you for watching this video. We're about to give you some killer weight loss and fat burning information, including seemingly harmless foods you should never eat, and what foods increase your overall fat burning potential that are both delicious and incredibly easy to add to your diet. So who exactly are we? Well, my name is Jeff Siegel, and along with my amazing partner, Isabel De Los Rios, the real nutrition genius behind what you're about to discover, We've helped thousands and thousands of people lose weight and achieve the body they've always dreamed of. Oh, and just so you know that we don't just talk the talk, but also walk the walk, here's a picture of Isabel and me just a month after we started sharing Isabel's personal knowledge online. Check out those arms. Yes, I'm talking about Isabel's. Now, I'm going to let her reveal some of the information you've been waiting for. Okay, here we go. Sugar is your number one enemy. I know what you're thinking. You just told me this was going to be different. Tell me something I don't know. But we're not actually talking about jelly donuts and candy canes here. Yes, those are bad for you, but there are plenty of foods disguised as health foods that quickly change to sugar in your body. Guess what? Orange juice, whole wheat bread, healthy cereals, things designated as low fat like muffins and salad dressings, the list goes on and on. These are the foods that are actually causing you to gain or at least not lose weight. When that stuff hits your system, it turns to sugar. Tons of foods that are touted as healthy do the same thing. They're not healthy. They're actually the foods that are preventing you from losing fat. I know you're probably surprised to see carbs written across the top of the screen. But what you need to know is that not all carbs are created equal. And the ones that you're eating thinking they're healthy may be doing you more harm than good. Look, you need carbs to make your body function properly, but there are certain carbs you absolutely do not need. For example, many people believe the whole wheat bread they're eating is good for them. Definitely not. Whole wheat bread will create an increase in blood sugar and insulin just as much as most other breads. This also happens with most pastas. Yes, even the whole wheat ones. Almost all cereals, crackers, even the ones that have all kind of healthy claims written all over the box. All of them will put you in that fat storing state. So which carbs should you eat? Well, lucky for you and me, there are a lot of them. If you're a fan of bread, as most people are, I probably really upset you before with all that bad news about bread. But there are still a lot of breads you can have. There are breads made from sprouted grains, or from grains like rice and spelt, that all fit perfectly into your fat-burning meal plan. And they taste good, too. I'm not into eating anything that tastes bad, and I'm sure you're not either. Speaking of good grains, ever heard of millet and quinoa? They're absolutely delicious. And although not a grain, how about a sweet potato with a little butter and cinnamon? Yes, you can have that and still burn tons of fat. You know what else qualifies as a good form of carbs? Pretty much any fruit and vegetables free game. And I know there are some crazy diet plans out there that limit the amount of fruits and vegetables you can have, but that's just a complete lie. Any diet that tells you you can't have something like a fruit or a vegetable is some crazy crash diet and not realistic for the long term. The truth is, the good fiber, vitamins, minerals, and nutrients in most fruits and vegetables will actually help you burn fat faster. Here's another very confused topic. If you don't know exactly what kinds of fat you should be eating, burning fat will be impossible. Yes, impossible. We've been told by just about every health guru that fat is what makes people fat. This is another huge misconception and a big lie. You want to know what the real truth is? The right kind of fat will actually burn a ridiculous amount of fat off your body, increasing your chances of fat loss success exponentially. Here are the fats you should be avoiding like the plague, because they are the ones that are causing you to gain weight and preventing you from losing the bad fat off your body. Hydrogenated oils, canola oil and vegetable oils, margarine, and definitely those substitute fake butter products. Surprised again? Did you think that processed fake margarine you were putting on your toast each morning was actually the right thing to do? I don't blame you. How could you not? With all those commercials out there telling you that it is actually the healthy alternative to butter? But have you read the ingredients list on there? That's not real food. And your body does nothing good with this stuff but store it as bad fat. Let me let you in on all the delicious fat you can have. Real butter, whole eggs, coconut oil, olive oil, avocados, raw nuts. You think I'm crazy now, don't you? This is usually the place where many people ask me, Isabel, aren't we all supposed to avoid saturated fat for our health? Am I going to keel over from a heart attack by eating butter and coconut oil? Definitely not. Another huge misconception and something most health professionals have all wrong. Statistics prove it. 
Remember, sugar is your enemy. All these natural unprocessed fats that are not full of chemicals are not only your friend, but what you absolutely need to burn that fat off your body. Thanks again for watching our short video. Want more helpful fat burning tips? Click on the button below and sign up for our free e-course. You'll gain immediate access and this course is chock full of little known and highly effective information that can help you attain the body you've always dreamed of.